Hello, good morning. I'm not gonna address that I haven't posted anything on my channel for like six months and I'm just randomly appearing here out of nowhere. So I'm just gonna act like nothing happened, like this is what I've done. But yeah, honestly, I just woke up on January 1st on a Monday on a total res reset, new year, new week, new day and decided I wanna vlog, I wanna, I don't know, have a little uh, diary of my year. So here I am, I'm doing it and I welcome you to this journey with me. It's actually already 2 p.m. and we've just woken up because yesterday was a really long night. We had an amazing evening with friends at our place. We went to sleep at like 6 in the morning. So it was really nice to sleep in, to chill and to not, you know, worry about time and anything. Uh, but now it's time to get a little bit back into the reality. The day after the party is always a little bit uh, chaotic. I'm just gonna show you quickly the aftermath of the party. Yesterday was very beautiful, today not so much. But first we're gonna have some breakfast, clean up and uh, kind of see what the day goes. We have nothing planned, we just want to chill. So as we walk into the main room, this was where our main event was happening. You can see that there is chaos reeking. And we're gonna have to clean this all up, all of these things here but it's not so bad most of it is contained into one room anyway so we're gonna manage we played cards against humanity yesterday it was really fun and here is sol wishing you all happy new year and here are some balloons that she desperately tried to get down yesterday and destroy xava how did you like the evening yesterday very good good Let's see what the day brings. It is now like three hours later, more or less. We had breakfast with all the leftovers that we had from yesterday evening from our like raclette dinner. And uh, Xava made like some uh, omelette with everything. It was really tasty. And then we just chilled on the couch, watched a little bit of a movie. And now I finally convinced him to go on a little walkie walk. And we're actually gonna walk to Xava's parents and I'm gonna get my Christmas present because I didn't spend Christmas this year with him or your family. It's around half an hour walk and as you can see it's already pitch dark although it's just like around 5.30 p.m. or so. We came to check on our garbage from last year's firework. Last year's? <laughs> last night's last year. firework because we uh, burned it down and it's all gone. Just a I hate when people leave their garbage just on the streets and actually everyone else did but we tried to you know put it all into a pile and now there are just some ashes left which is good and yeah I think honestly this will kind of be it for today we're just gonna go to his parents I guess I know when I eat that. <laughs> Just immediately. Yeah. I feel like so much I'm like sweating, everyone's looking at me. <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday and I'm starting the year strong because I took the day off from work because I really, really, really needed it. I'm not feeling the best and it was really necessary for me to sleep out. I actually slept super long for like 10 and a half hours, which is a luxury that I don't have that often. And it felt really good and I'm still in bed. It's almost, let me check, it's almost 11 in the morning. Uh, Xava has already left 
he has to do some work things. I'm actually gonna enjoy a little bit of reading and journaling. I have really enjoyed journaling in the last few weeks. Today's journaling prompt is what is the one thing you'd like to change about your life this year? I've started reading in Russian um, to kind of challenge myself. My mom gave me like some random uh, novels and um, yeah it's really been quite hard for me to read in Russian. I'm very slow so I thought that would be a good challenge for me to take something that is not very you know deep or difficult to get back into the groove. I really really love reading and I've getting I got into it really deeply in the last I would say like six months and that's definitely one habit that I'm going to take with me into this new year. Let's see what else the day brings. I'm gonna take it easy and enjoy my day off alone at home. Um, this is definitely the way I recharge my batteries. So it is now a few hours later and I'm actually feeling not too bad. Uh, I think just sleeping in was really really good and exactly what I needed. And now I've actually been cleaning up a little bit more because we didn't have time to do everything and honestly we just wanted to chill. And another thing that I'm doing right now is actually transferring all of my pictures to the hard drive. I don't want to keep paying more and more and more for more storage and we all probably have like a million pictures and uh, I never have time to do this and I've been putting it off actually for forever but I thought now is the time I have to do it because yeah my storage is again like 80% full and I do have a perfectly functioning hard drive or external drive so I'm just doing that. I've also been doing laundry and honestly <laughs> Today is not super eventful. I'm just catching up on everything. I was in Spain last week, so I haven't had time to be at home to sort things out. And you know how guys are with cleaning up and things like that. So it's now dinner time and we did, or by we, Xava did, really good mashed potatoes with some... Smashed. Smashed, sorry. Smashed potatoes with some mayo, truffle mayo, homemade truffle mayo and some salad I'm gonna show you, but it's really, really good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hello, good morning, let me come a bit closer. It's Wednesday and I did to say, decide to stay one more day at home uh, to kind of uh, heal myself out completely and I think it was such a good decision. I slept again really good and I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. And uh, I'm actually ready to come to work tomorrow for sure. I just want to show you that I have been starting my day with vitamins and not just because I've been a little bit under the weather but in general the goal for me this year is to take care of myself, take care of my health and vitamins is something super important so I'm definitely prioritizing that and I'm just using up the last ones that I have and then I think in a week or two I'm gonna uh, go and buy it so maybe you'll see a vitamin haul that's how you know I'm getting close to 30 and actually I also have this like vitamin holder thing for my daily needs because that's just easier for me to organize and otherwise I just keep forgetting the another thing that I want to do today, since I am feeling much better and I feel like I can go out of the house, is get my car oil changed. And usually the lines are huge. I go to this place where you can, can't can really pre-book an appointment. You just go, it's kind of like a drive-in oil change. And usually after work or before work, there's huge lines. So I'm hoping now, since it's around 11, 30, 12, it's like kind of midday, everyone's at work. I'm going to use the opportunity and I'm going to drive 
to there. Outside actually feels, looks really horrible. It's kind of like a hurricane, no sun, very gray. Today I really have to do more homework. Today is my deadline. So, um, not so eventful, but from tomorrow I promise the vlog is gonna be more interesting. We're going out for dinner, you know, the weekend is there and I always do something fun on the weekend. So keep, keep on with me on these uh, boring everyday life. My goal with these vlogs is just to vlog my real life. I don't wanna make it any more interesting or beautiful than it actually is. This is my realistic life and I think you can all relate. Not every day is fun and interesting. But uh, yeah, let's get started with the day. I've been enjoying... I've enjoyed having like really slow, long mornings. Monique. Hello. I understand. She says my name. So I have just arrived to the oil change and here it is, Mac Oil. Like I guessed, it was a great decision to come now because I am only the fourth car and they change actually really quickly in like 10 minutes. They are very affordable. I'm not sure because I have a new car. Uh, how much it's gonna cost. I can update it to you later. I don't know if it's an interesting information to know. I really don't know much about cars and I'm super happy that it's finally happening because I've been putting it off for like a month and a half and it's actually really not that good to put it off because your car needs to be taken care of. So now is the day, new year, new me, so to say, new things. We are being productive and I actually decided to go to the gym afterwards. Now don't judge me, I know I've been sick or I've been off work sick, but I think a small sweat session actually helps you to get better. Now I'm not gonna do, you know, insane weights or any, you know, high intensity. I'm just gonna do a little bit of cardio um, and I just feel like going to the gym instead of going out because the weather isn't that nice. And I think it helps you to sweat out all the last, uh, you know, microbes out of you. All right, I'm done. Finally, it took a bit longer. I don't know, the car in front of me had like a hundred things to do. Uh, I overall waited around an hour, which is, yeah, okay. Uh, but I'm super happy that it's done. It cost me 115 euros, which is a bit more than I would have expected. But they are really good. They changed some kind of... Um, screw or something you know they check all the gearbox everything you know perfect service honestly the guys are super nice my ego got boosted one guy <laughs> flirted with me he said i look very pretty and uh, asked how tall i am and then i said i'm 176 and he said perfect height everything although you know i'm in my gym outfit without any uh, makeup or anything so that was quite an ego boost for me to be honest let me go and get to the gym and uh, get a little bit of a sweat on. I'm excited. All right, my first workout is done. Like I said, it was nothing crazy just a little bit of movement and I regret a little bit that I didn't oh my god this wind that's the weather right now which is why I didn't walk outside I regret a little bit not taking anything to shower because I could have taken a sauna but I can do that next time I'm just gonna quickly jump into Lidl to get a snack and then I'm back home because I really really have to study and I have to hurry it's all been taking too long I look a bit uh, messy after the wind. Anyway, I've gotten my snacks. I'm protected in my car from the wind. Feeling good, feeling refreshed, finally feeling, you know, 100% like myself. These two days of rest were unbelievably good for me and I'm so glad that I took the time and, you know, didn't go to work half sick. And uh, yeah, this is it for today. Like I said, I'm gonna just veg out in at home, studying, organizing, preparing things. So I will see you again tomorrow. Hello, and it is ter Thursday. Good morning, actually almost good afternoon. And today is the first real day for me, so to say back to reality. I am back in the office. I'm actually dressed up today. And uh, yeah, the first day in the office is always a little bit chaotic. I have some things that I 
left from December. There are some things that I have to catch up from the last two days that I was sick. There are some packages that have arrived meanwhile when we were all on vacation. So honestly, I'm just sorting through all the chaos and trying to kind of get back into the groove. I've forgotten all of my passwords, I've forgotten how I work. And you know, I think you can all <laughs> relate to that. The first day is weird. Um, but I thought to make it a little bit more interesting, I'll show you quickly my office space or the room that I'm in. I normally share the room with other two girls, but they are working both from home today, so I am alone. So it's like the perfect opportunity to give you a little tour. So also I want to show you my outfit, which is a little bit electrified, but I have this dress on with a jumper. This is actually a set and it's super comfortable, very, you know, cute and good looking. But now let's get on to the office tour. Here we have our little board with the new calendar, you know, some samples that we have to send. This is actually a table of one girl, the table of another girl. Here's also some samples, some boxes, you know, things that we actually have to sort through, but uh, nothing important. Very cute. Um, one of the girls had a birthday recently and she hasn't still been to the office, so her table is cutely decorated, which is nice. And here's my desk. This wall is actually the centerpiece, obviously, of our office. We did it because the wall behind it was really ugly, so this way it gives a little bit personality to our office and here are just some things that I'm sorting through lots of things to work on and the view from the office as you can see the weather is not really amazing today it's really windy it's really cold and uh, yeah not anything special but yeah I'm just gonna catch up on work like I said have to come back into the groove. I have a standing desk and my New Year's resolution for the office is definitely to be standing more than sitting. It is finally lunch time and as I said that is always the highlight and I decided to eat quickly at my desk because I actually want to go on a walk to get in some movement since I'm not going to go to the gym today and I just have some pasta here mushroom and um, cream pasta uh, that I just scrambled up yesterday for dinner and this is our leftovers. I love cooking more so that for the next day I have something to take to work. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly eat uh, my lunch now. This is the glamorous reality of going on a walk. It's so windy <clears throat> that I just have to wear this hoodie otherwise I feel like my ears are gonna uh, fall off. But um, since I work kind of middle of nowhere, quite literally, <clears throat> there are just houses and it's like half an hour away from the city. Uh, it doesn't come with a lot of perks, but it has one very cute perk. And this is that there are some very cute animals around here and I always get to enjoy them. Today they are quite hidden behind the bushes, but I'm still going to be able to show them to you. So enjoy this little view of my friends because yeah they are just very adorable especially in the summer there's much more of them today they are kind of hidden all over the place but yeah you're lucky to see a few so let me show you so just as we zoom in you can see there they are camera please focus on the correct things here yes there are some cute deers Oh my god, the camera doesn't know where to focus on. Here. And normally in the summer there are a lot, a lot, a lot more, but today I can enjoy them from afar. And I find them absolutely beautiful. They are such gorgeous animals. So I'm very lucky to witness this here. But yeah, normally on my walks like this, I listen to an audiobook. Right now I'm listening to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I just started and it seems really interesting. Another thing that I like to do is actually call my family and talk with them since, you know, it's kind of the perfect time. I'm just walking around. And uh, yeah, I just kind of get out of the groove of work, get a little bit of movement, which is perfect. And today I'm gonna walk for around 30 minutes, so nothing crazy. Oh my god, I just found some weight before my camera battery dies. 
Look, who is here? Here you are a bit closer. Yeah, and I talk with the animals. Here they are. And I like to think that they remember me from all of my daily walks. Alright, I've survived a long day at work. It was the first day and super late. It's uh, now almost 5.30. Of course my battery died, so you are gonna enjoy this choppy iPhone uh, footage. Enjoy it. Um, but the reason I stayed that long is actually because I'm going now to meet Xava and his family for dinner. And it didn't make sense for me to drive, you know, back home. And then back to there, so I just stayed longer, got my hours done. It was quite good to, to stay, you know, and get it really into the groove of things. But yeah, we're going to an Italian restaurant. I'm very excited. I'm hungry. Yeah, let's just get driving. I'm starving. Let's go. from the restaurant. It was a nice evening, although the food on my side was a bit too little. And now we're just having one last non-alcoholic drink at home. Cheers. <laughs> Not cringe at all. It's geil. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. A busy day with a lot of things happening. Hello and good morning. It is Friday and I have started Friday super productively. It's around 9.30 in the morning and it feels like I've already done so many things. I actually started working already at 7.30 and I worked for around an hour. And then I had to go to the doctor because I had my annual cancer screening um, for breast and cervical cancer, like pap smear, whatever else they do, to be honest. I'm not so um, deeply informed, but... It is something super important and uh, if there's anything that I learned in 2023 is that your health is super important. So here is a gentle reminder to all of you watching, no matter if you're a man or a woman, take uh, the time to take care of your health because that is something that you cannot you know, buy, you can never take it back, so better start early. I am turning 30 this year, so I don't know, I just feel like I should be getting on top of all of these things and become an adult and uh, I'm super happy that I did it. I even paid a little bit extra to get uh, some you know ultrasounds unfortunately those are not included in Germany in like a normal checkup but since I've never had it done I thought why not I don't want to save on my health this year I want to prioritize it and I'd rather you know pay money for making sure that I'm okay. And then after the doctors, I actually quickly jumped into like a bio market where I normally almost never go. I find it quite overpriced, but today I felt inspired since it was right around the corner. And I actually got something new to try. Let me show you this curcuma latte. I am, have been obsessed with um, matcha lattes and um, I just saw this and I thought, why not try it out, something to brighten up my mornings and I got myself some breakfast to reward myself some spinach rolls and some uh, veggie quiche and now I'm gonna go rush back home to work it is much much later since the last time I updated you and I have just come off from my important meeting and uh, it went quite well it was interesting I'm not gonna delve into any more details but I am actually now going to meet my friend Maggie who also has a YouTube channel who you should check out who's been way more consistent than I have in the last year and uh, we are actually going to catch up and talk about a few more other important things I'm being super secretive today but it's things that I really don't want to talk about right now um, it's just something exciting that I have been thinking about 
for a while and if we've been talking about it and now it's we're kind of finally wanting to do something with it uh, and of course we also are friends so I enjoy meeting up with her so we are going to this uh, place in Munich where every girl goes which is called Cotidiano from Cotidiano to another location. Actually, we came to the most expensive street in Munich. Uh, it's called Maximilianstrasse and we are filming some content for something secretive that you will find out about very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, we're just walking around <laughs> and filming each other. <laughs> And yeah, we're just enjoying our Friday night and uh, having fun, doing something useful and having fun at the same time. Um, and yeah, actually after this I'm still planning to go to the gym. Let's hope I will make it. Depends on how long we will be here. So I just got home and uh, washed off all my makeup because I'm gonna jump into the gym quickly. I'm actually super super hungry but I guess that will have to wait because I have uh, some goals that I want to achieve, so I have to be disciplined, which means going to the gym. I'm just trying to convince myself here, <laughs> if it isn't very obvious. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. It was very productive, out and about, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning in the morning. It is Saturday. <laughs> nine in the morning and we are in the van ready to go help our friend Tim because he is moving and we're help helping him move not exactly thrilled if I'm honest I <laughs> would have liked to sleep out but he helped us so of course we're gonna help him and we're on our way and that's actually basically what we're gonna do all day drive around from oh, one I place my glasses. Oh. we can still turn around Luckily, Xava could get a van from work, which makes it much easier. See how comfortable Tim is with me filming? If not, then this is the only update you get today. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get to work. Ah, I have my curcuma latte. Did you take your coffee? Coffee. 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 <laughs> coffee. <laughs> <Hey>, shampoo. <laughs> and yes, we are ready. Are you ready? I'm so hyped. Let's see how it goes. 
What are you carrying here? Just a little TV, it's super comfortable, <laughs> can't you tell? <laughs> also probably really safe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We've just finished loading the second big car. It's like 4 p.m. already. But the good news is that we are basically done. We just have to drive to the other side of the city now, unpack it, and then me and Xava are free. Uh, Tim, of course, has a long way of building up, organizing, but uh, we will not be helping with that, at least not today. Huh? Was machst du? Привет. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. I had five coffees in twos. <laughs> now I'm hyped. That was very necessary. And we are done. It's Yay. dark outside. It started snowing. It's becoming cold. What? How many degrees is it actually? One uh, degree. One. It's snowing. And we are happy to get back home on our couch. Later on, we're going to a party, but I'm not going to show you any of that. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, good morning. Uh, I've changed the angles in the car. Is this artistic or is it annoying? I'm not sure, but I'm going with it. It's Sunday and it's actually 3 p.m. and I spent most of my morning doing some computer stuff, editing most of this vlog, etc. And today is the last day of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed this longer format. It's the first time that I do a video that is this long, but uh, personally I like watching longer videos when I get ready, when I cook, you know, do laundry and any, you know, household things. So maybe you are doing exactly the same thing while watching my video. I am on my way to the gym. Then I still have to do some housework, clean up a little bit because somehow the house always seems to be coming back to chaos even when I try to keep it nice. I guess that's life. And in the evening we're going out to dinner again with Xava's family. Uh, this is not a usual thing that we do it twice a week, but this week just happens to be like this. And uh, we are going to a Bavarian place, so I will just quickly show you what we are eating. And I think, yeah, today I will keep it quite short, not nothing, you know, super eventful. And yeah, let, I guess let's go to the gym and get fit. My, I've achieved my goal of three times a week this week. And I hope to keep it up every single week after that. dinner. We are being picked up and we're going to a Bavarian restaurant. What is it called? Wittmann. 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 It's cold, it's snowing, oh. but I felt like doing my hair. How do you like my hair? It's good. My Dyson hair. But with this the weekly vlog is actually done. Thank you for watching. Again let me know down in the comments if you like this long format casual video. Here is my outfit. I went for something super comfy because we are, it's Sunday, you know, we are casual. But I spice it up with a little bit of hair and I look put together. It's cute, it's warm. And now let's go to dinner. <laughs> Will you show your outfit to the people? Man, this shot us with jogging hose. Yeah, but knitted. It. It's comfy. Yeah. Well, he didn't want to, but I'll show his outfit anyway quickly. Your beloved turtleneck. Cargo pants, also casual but comfy. Last small touches with the No, it doesn't work. It's mustache. too cold. Because the wax is too cold. Oh. I'll do it in the car. But here's the winter wonderland. I hope we don't have to wait for too long. But it's your family. 
<laughs> so you never know. I wanted to be here seven minutes ago. <laughs> All right, let's get to dinner.